I'm here with Julia Unwin, Chief Executive of the Joseph Rowntree Foundation. We're here today at the Scottish Assembly for Tackling Poverty. Julia, um, could you maybe start by telling us what you believe some of the, the biggest issues are that we face in tackling poverty at the moment? Well, we come out of the biggest recession that's happened in any of our lives into a different world from the one we went into before. And I think if any of us kid ourselves that we can snap back to where we were before, we're making a big mistake. We come out in a labour market that is different from anything we've seen before, which because of globalisation, because of automation, means there are some very bad jobs at what I've described as the murky end of the labour market. We're offering people jobs that don't get them out of poverty, have no route to progression and give them no security. So that's one of the big changes in our current environment. We're coming out of the recession into a very high cost environment where the cost of food and fuel and borrowing, childcare housing are rocketing. Those are the very big bits of poor people's budgets. And we're coming into a world where it's very hard to see a secure and stable future. So the challenge for those of us concerned about poverty is to make sure that we turn all our energies all the drivers we have, whether we're government, voluntary sector, local authorities, to make sure that people and places in poverty don't come into the next stage of our economy even worse off than they went into the recession. And one of the things that the Joseph Rowntree Foundation are doing, I guess, towards that end is, is working on a big programme of work um, to help develop a, a UK anti-poverty strategy. What are you hoping to achieve with that? For decades, Joseph Rowntree Foundation has been publishing important and I think really influential work about the nature of poverty. What we're doing now is trying to put all of that evidence together and produce for the four nations of the UK different strategies which indicate what can be done, modelling what difference it can make and being really clear and specific about the impact that we think can be made because we start off by recognising that poverty does exist in the UK, it is real but it's absolutely not inevitable. There are the tools for ending it and we believe we can contribute to that. And just finally then, on, on those contributions, how do you believe that the, the kinds of discussions that are taking place today at the Scottish Assembly for Tackling Poverty, how can they help in, in finding some of the solutions to tackle poverty? This is the most fantastic event. It brings together people who've got lived experience of being in poverty, practitioners, people who work to support people in poverty, academics and activists. It's a really powerful conference not even a standard conference, an assembly which helps us, guides us in what we're doing, because no end to poverty will ever be achieved just by evidence alone. We need to hear the real experience because that's another form of evidence. We need to put all of those together so we make a compelling case that poverty can be ended in the UK, because it can.